Oh, yeah, do you work on 27th Avenue? Yeah, it's pretty dope. It's it's pretty legit. Yeah. It's it, it's pretty legit. It's pretty dope. It's it's outgoing. Yeah. Um if you know the remix and you know how to get along with people and you know how um how to get along and not contradict yourself um, and stay on topic and focus on what you're doing and on task with people and everything. And you're about what you're doing and you're about what you say and, and, and you stay real with everyone. Um, you, it's pretty much dope, it's legit, you know, it's, I, I like it. How yeah. long have you been hanging out out there? Huh? Like how long have you been hanging out out there? Um, a year, two years? About well, I I grew up around the area code. You know, I went to school out here in high schools, and I know, I've been here since I was little. You know, yeah. And two different area codes uh, around 27, but they're right next to each other. You know, from Camelback Indian School all the way to Glendale. You know, um, the girls are pretty cool out here too. You know. They're pretty outgoing. Um, yeah, we we all get along and we try to do the most of us, the most of, we try to do the most we can for people out here that come either to visit or to live or to stay or to hang out or to meet people or to see what's up with 27 and see what's going on, you know? So are you usually out there during the daytime or the nighttime? Anytime, Any throughout time? the time, you know, throughout the, throughout the hours of people being awake, I mean, if you come around 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, I don't think there's going to be much people out there at all, you know? Oh, there's a bunch of girls out there. Uh, Listen true. Time. Well, yeah, there is a bunch of girls out there that do their job, but, you know, there's other girls that might not work doing, um, <laughs> there's girls out there doing, uh, that escort, you know? Yeah. They, they escort and they escort 24-7 of their time or they escort here and there or they escort part time of their Do you know of their of time you know be escorting out there or no mm, not really no yeah. i talk to them i pass through them i'll be like hey what's up girly and they'll be like hey what up and i'll be like hey sometimes i pass by and they'll be dancing and i'll be like hey you know i'll shake my <laughs> ass too you know oh, yeah mm. you know um and yeah, they're they're all really really nice and really sweet. And what else? Um, they're all going, and they do try to protect themselves as much as they can. You know, they try to wear condoms, and they don't try to go with just anyone. And particularly, and not to be rude or judgmental or, or to criticize or to make the person feel less or or you ain't no good or you're not pretty, but to for our own safety, and not just our own safety, but even their safety too. You know, we don't just look out for ourselves, but even for themselves too, you know? Yeah. And it's important to freaking stay on task on that, you know? Yeah. Because we all got family, we got kids, and even the ones that don't got kids or families, there is someone out there that you get close to or that they, that you see that love you or you love them or that they care or you care, both of you guys care and love each other, you know? Yeah. And you never know if the day of tomorrow you happen to move forward with that person. And what are you gonna say if a week later you, you know, it's like, fuck, a week later I was with that girl that I, you know, that I always see or, or always visit and stuff like that, you know? And it's always important to stay on task because like that, it's always important to stay with regulars and have your regulars, yeah. you know? Um, go with the same guys that you go with or... How many regulars do you have? Me? Yeah. Well, see, I don't escort like that, like that, like that, you know, I, I really don't. But I mean, I've done dates before sometimes, you know, because um, I, 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 I hang out, I hang out with the girls. Too, yeah, you know, sometimes it is an insensitivity because of, um, an insensitivity because of, you know, life circumstances, you know, sometimes not, I wouldn't do it for something petty, you know. I'd rather ask somebody to let me borrow money for gas. Or to let me borrow a few bucks to get something to eat at McDonald's, or let me borrow a few bucks for to get the ordering shampoo, conditioner, or something, you know, or something for my kids. Like, oh, they need diapers, or they need this, or they need that, or me, or you know what, my mom is struggling with this, or my sisters, or 
or if not my boyfriend um he needs to enter work tomorrow but he doesn't got boots or work clothes so then i'm gonna have to like do something for in order for us to stand on our, on our feet you know yeah. and and you know what if he gets fired three four months later you know do you remember like um, or their job goes down or like the, the first time that you you did a date and how was that experience was it scary was yeah it, were you nervous um how was it <laughs> yeah it, it was scary it, it was scary i was i mean yeah it was it was scary i didn't know if i should have or not i was like uh should i enter the car should i not i didn't even know how much to charge or not you know yeah yeah and how did you get that day was it through uh the internet or was it out on the track on the 27th Mm -hmm. Was it on the internet, or did you do it out on the streets? In the internet or on the street? Yeah, like you know how some girls, they, they go on Backpage or stuff like that. Oh, um, the first time I did it, see, the first time I ever did a date in my life was pretty legit. It wasn't really the way I do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was surrounded by a lot of people, you know? Um, I was never surrounded by just myself, you know? I, yeah, you know. Um, After you did it that first time, how did you feel? Like I mean, like, when I, when, this is what happened when, when I first, when I first entered this was, it was my choice. No one put me in, no one sold me out. Yeah. No one gave me the offer. I was, I got an argument with my mom. Because she left to Las Vegas to my cousin's wedding, and I'm like, I'm not going because I had an argument with my cousin, and it was horrible, and it was just like a disrespectful thing, private thing, personal thing towards the, fa of the family, you know? So I was like, I'm not gonna go. My mom's like, Why are you not gonna go? I'm like, Well, I'm not gonna fucking tell you. And it's between me and my cousin, and whatever, you know? And then he, she was like, Well, that's weird because you and him are like this, and I don't understand why you guys ain't even talking no more, or why you guys are not getting along. And then I was like, well, I don't know, just tell him that I wish him the best and that I hope he um, gets his life straight and fix his life. And I hope he freaking um, gets to know what he has in his, in his life, in his shoes, you know? And not throw it away, nor destroy it for something petty that don't even fucking matter, you know? Um, I just want the best for him, you know, and, and and my mom was like, well, whatever, you know, she left me there, and, and I was like, wait, my stepdad's going right, and she was like, no, he's staying, I'm like, and I already had to, like, do my friends, like, hey, come and stay with me at the house, you know, so I wouldn't be there by myself, we'll go party, or we'll invite someone over, we'll be in the backyard, we'll drink a little bit, but in the backyard, then we'll clean up, and then, you know, we'll go sleep inside the house, in my room, or in the living room, whatever, but just us three girls, you know? It's like, okay, and then right now that my stepdad stays and we're like, fuck, how are we gonna do this? I enter my home girls and we, yeah, we're still getting all ready, taking a shower, changing everything, freaking mess, you know? And then we went out for a drive, I guess. I had a boyfriend and I went with my boyfriend and his friends and my, and my friends and everything was, it was really cool. And then after that, we went home and the next day in the morning, we rested, got up, uh, got up, got ready again everything my other friend came for us we left with him and then over there more more people showed up and more things was happening you know it was really popping my party was my birthday was coming through and everyone was like hey your Maria birthday's coming through i'm like yeah let me borrow your house and they're like I, i'll put in this i'll put in 200 i'll put a thousand i'll put this i'll put that you know and i'm like all right and then the guys were like i'll put the girls and it's like there was a few girls there like yeah you know and then my friends, and they're like, hell yeah, dude, and this and that's gonna get popping, well, you know? And then, so yeah, and then it's like, okay, cool. And then the next day I went home and my mom was there and the house was a mess. We had left like clothes, underwear, bras, everything, makeup everywhere, my mom doesn't like that, you know? So we were like, Bye. you know, like she got there earlier, you know? Like a day before. 
and my tata was like, I don't know what happened, you know? And then I was like, it's like, I don't even know what time the tit is, you know? He was like in the living room, in the kitchen. But the thing is that we would sneak out, like we would be in the room and then I was like, I gotta go take a shower. I'm like, okay, well come with me when I gotta go take a shower. So then while I jump in the shower, I'll take out my clothes, you know? And then I'll take a shower, you're on the other side. And then I'll hop out and then you hop in, but we won't turn off the water. And then we'll just all go back in my room so my dad won't see, you know, my stepdad. So then that's how we did it. So he was like, I don't even know. I thought it was only her taking a shower, you know? So yeah, and then, um, so yeah. And then um, after that, you know, we got an argument. So then she freaking told me to sleep on the floor. And I was like, what the heck? She didn't let me sleep in my bed. I'm like, all right, it's cool. So I lay on the floor and then I woke up. I told my other friend in Maricopa, like, hey, I gotta go. Me and my mom got an argument. She kicked me out. And yeah, I did like to him. I told him like she had me outside in the in the freaking jumpling sleeping. He's like in the outside in the jumpling. I'm like yeah, and it's about to rain. I'm like what the heck, you know? And um, I wasn't really doing good with myself then, you know. Um, so yeah, and then he he um, he freaking yeah, he he told me well I need some pictures of you that are sexy so I can give them out to a guy friend for him to go for you because he he he'll give you a ride to here to Maricopa with me or for me and you to meet up halfway, but I need pictures from you. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, he just didn't give me a ride, what the heck? And like, come on, and then this and that. I'm like, all right, cool. So then I took a picture already and everything, and I sent them out to him. It's like, well, I got some of these in, on Facebook. It's like, show me your boobs, you know? And I'm like, okay. And then I show him my boobs, I send it to him. And I'm like, so then what, you know? And then I sent some with my bra and underwear and stuff. And then he was like, yeah. And then, um, yeah, the guy came through, and then after that, he was like, you want to go now to Maricopa, or do you want to hang out? And I was like, I don't know, you know, I was like, all oh, dressed up, and I was like, not really. I'm actually, I think I'm more dressed up right now than at that time. At that time, I had, like, some sandals and some some jeans and a normal spaghetti shirt, you know, and my hair down, and yeah. Um, yeah, and then I was like, um, I was like, yeah, well, yeah, we can hang out because that's messed up. It's two hours, you know? And I'm like, yeah, we can hang out. So we went, he went to the hotel all the way in Greenway and we stood the night there and then it was like, people were going in and out and it was like, okay. And then he's like, hey, will you do a date with me? And I'm like, what kind of date? Like, what is a date? And we doing a date, you know? Like we're hanging out, you know? It's like, no, like a date and this and that, you know? And then he kind of got close and I was like, I don't know, because he wasn't really older than me, you know? Like he was like, I don't know, like my dad age or my grandpa age or so between. Like 40, 40 yeah, 40? yeah. And then I was kind of like, I don't know, I never been with someone way. Well, well I, I, I I dated people older than me, but not like, not like almost 50 or past 45, you know, yeah. or past 50. So I was like, this is my first time ever. I don't know, like mean Josh, the one that got me to meet you. I mean, he's 30, you know, it's like. He's 29, about to be 30. I'm like, and my other friend it, that I'm talking to, it's like 37. You know, it's like, you know. And how old know. were you at the time? I was mm -mm, 21. 21. Yeah. 21. You're 25 now. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we did, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. And then he's like, well, look, how about this? He's like, think about it. He's like, you got an argument with your mom. After this, that I go drop you off with him. He's like. What are, you, what are you gonna do after that, you know? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's gonna drop me off at my, baby, at my ex husband house or my ex family in law house, his sister in law, my sister in law, or my mother in law, you know, who knows? And then, or his one of his cousins in law or something, or one of our friends, you know, in well, the neighborhood. That initial date, you just started, kept on going? Or? Yeah. And then, yeah, well, practically, well, he kind of spoke to me about it. And he's like, well, see, this is like the way you're telling me that if we don't do a date, because you got somewhere where to go tomorrow, which is me dropping you off over there. And then from there, he might do this or that and this and that, you know? That's wandering off. What if things come out wrong where you totally get stuck to have nowhere where to go? What are you going to do about your life? <laughs> and then, um, and he's like, what are you going to do about your life, you know? And then, um, and then, um, 
It's like, what are, what are you going to do about your life? And then it's like, true, you know? And, and, and time went by, and then it was like, huh, you know? It was like, okay, I, I, I see this. And then I was like, okay, cool. How much will you pay me? It's like 150, and I'll buy you clothes too. I'll take you shopping. I was like, oh, okay, can we wear a condom? And how long would it take? It's like, no more than 30 minutes. And he gave me 150 cash, and then he took me shopping. Actually, like he took he took me to Walmart, you know. But like, he bought me like all the fucking underwear and bras I wanted, all the socks, everything, like whatever I wanted at Walmart. Like if I was able to empty out the entire so Walmart. He was acting like he'll, a sugar daddy, pretty. <laughs> yeah, he wasted like three hundred dollars on me, on Walmart, you know, on makeup, hair things, clothes, underwear, bras, everything, and one hundred fifty cash, and whatever the next day he had to spend on me to, when like habits, cigarettes, anything, drinks, whatever, smokes, you know, um, hotels, you know, and it wasn't like just any hotel. It was like a good luxury hotel, you know, and then it's like he took me to this friend. And his friend was like in Tempe, and she was in Tempe or in Mesa, and she, her hotel was way bigger than mine. Her hotel was like, it was like you enter and it was like the living room, the kitchen, and it was like a room and it was like as big as this, you know, and it was freaking huge. And it's like the bathroom, everything was nice, you know. And I was just sitting there and it was like a desk and then I heard her say to him like, hey, so what's up? Have you find out about the secretary? And it's like, and he, he, like there was other two guys in there, and they were just staring at each other, like you know, like yeah, you know. And then they're like, uh, you know, and I'm like, I was just staring at them and staring at her, like you know. And then, um, like I was like, no, nah, not really, you know. And she was over there, like getting her stuff, like hearing them, and this one was over here hearing her, you know. And then I was just like, what the fuck, you know. And then the other one was just like. Like, I'm just doing my makeup. The other one's like, don't even say shit. <laughs> you know? I was like, ah. And then, um, um, yeah, and then it was just like, it was like, um, yeah, you know, and it was like, it was like, um, it was a lot of things, you know, and it was just like, she was like, oh, so do you need a secretary? And I was, you know, she was like, not really. And I was like, I, I told her, I, I told her my secretary for a while. And was like, oh, well, I need a secretary help for my dates, you know, to organize my dates, you know, my regulars. And it's like throughout all week, I do dates every day at this time, through this time. And, you know, and I need help with someone picking up the phone and putting on the dates and letting me know so I can be showered and ready and everything. Because I shower for every day. And that's why I have my hotel room. And I was like, okay, y'all can do that. It's like, and here and there, if you want, I can pass you a few regulars too, you know, besides what I'm gonna pay you. I'm like, okay, if I don't know how much would it be for me in a day, it's like three, five hundred, eight hundred. My like, three, five hundred, eight hundred. It's like, yeah, depend on how much I get paid too and how many dates I do. I'm like, you gonna be like this? No, I don't do it all day. I, I only do it for like two hours, me dijo. But I, it's like 50 minutes, it's 80, 50, 50 minutes, it's 80 dollars. 80 30 minutes, it's 100, an hour is 200. And then after the hour, if, it doesn't matter if it's 50 minutes or 30 minutes more after the hour, it's 250, 280, up to $300, just for 15, 30 minutes more. So and now, an hour, I get like 200. Like, what, what do you usually charge when you're out there on 27? But that's when, you're, that's when you're up there already, you know? Like yeah. I said, like her, she had her hotel. Yeah. She had her hotel, she had her makeup, everything. She had her, her closet was full of fucking clothes, like nothing but dresses. So she was like a professional escort. Yeah. Not the kind that walk around on the Andale. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's what me and her were doing, you know? Yeah. And I was staying in hotels too, and then we freaking, things happened, and I ended up walking out. We got in an argument, you know, my birthday got there, and then I went with one of her regulars. She told me, you know, I went with him. And the point was that we were supposed to stick together, but the regular was like, no, you can come to my house and stay here. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to do nothing, blah, blah, blah. You can continue doing your dates. And then I was like, see, I never done this. It's like, that's the thing. I don't see you. I don't see you qualify for this. And then she got mad and she was like, what do you mean you don't see her qualify for this? This is no qualified, sh nothing, you know? Like, she's freaking pretty. She has a body and this and this and that. It was like, it's like, you're not understanding, you know? And it's like, what the heck, you know? It's like, do you want to do this or not? And I'm like, yeah, I want to do this. It's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm down for it, I don't mind, you know? And it's like, you know, it's gonna be complicated, you know, like, there's gonna be a bunch of things and a bunch of offers, like, you know? It's like, 
okay, you're, you're, you're not, a, obviously you got kids, so you're not a virgin to the front. I'm like, no, it's like, see, if you were a virgin to the front, you could offer 8,000, 10,000, 20,000, just to lose it. He's like, you're a virgin, you know? Like, you can offer that 25, you know, 15, 10, 8, 5, 3, you know? Yeah. Like, what, what do you think? Nosotros no sabemos, no que son así o que sean, no, no son así, pero it's like, you know, a lot of people ask us a lot, like, te vendes, te vende tu mamá, te vende tu novio, te vende tu amigo, or whoever you're with, you know, even the guy behind the camera, yeah. you know, it's like, te vende él, él es el que te vende, and it's like, no, it's, you know, yeah. por mi propia cuenta. Now that when you go to 27, como cuánto cobras? How, how much do you charge when you're out there? Nothing near the price. What you used to get before? Yeah. And before you were working off the internet, though, huh? Like, like off the back page and all that stuff, or, or Craigslist, or, or how did you guys get your dates back then? Uh, when I got my 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 dates back then. Yeah. Um, internet, I, I knew a lot of people because I, 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 I stay on task, I was multitask. I would do that and I would waitress and promote, yeah. you know? Oh, okay. But it was una cosa privada, personal. Yeah. You know? And a la gente le encanta eso. Yeah. You know? Como, como si yo voy y trabajo en un antro, y ando acá de mesera, you know? Yo no le voy a decir a mi patrona, oiga, puedo trabajar aquí de mesera. Can I work here as a waitress? And and I also escort myself here? Yeah. Fuck no, that's against pa afuera. I ain't trying to lose my club, you know? <laughs> yeah. Out there, yeah, you know? The table, yeah, much, like. and, and, and that's what happened, you know? Uh, you know, we will see that sometimes because there will be some that legit had no respect for themselves or the other clients that will be there with their wife and their, their family. Mm -hmm. I know, they were like, you know, not even for the boss, like, yo, you ain't my boss, like, what the fuck you mean, I ain't your boss, you know, like, you're working at my club, you know, yeah. and you're telling me I'm not your boss, you know, like, yo trabajo por mi propia cuenta, well, then I'm not gonna pay you the night for waitressing then, yeah. the fuck, come in as a normal client and do your thing, you know, you don't gotta come in as a waitress and say I ain't not your boss, you know, yeah. and then like, okay, you know, and I was just sitting there like, you know, see, you fucked up, you know, like, that's not, you're not supposed to disrespect them. You're supposed to show them respect, you know? And, and... ¿Cuántos dates haces al día ahora? Uno, dos, y en veces nada. ¿En veces nada? Because I, I can't, en veces nada porque yo no quiero. Porque no, no, no lo necesito, no lo ocupo. O no, como te dice, no es necesario. Mm -hmm. Is that every day or is um, like once out of the week or, or cuántas veces sales a la 27? Well, yo siempre estoy en la 27 caminando uh, para arriba para abajo con amistades o yo sola yeah. o nomás viendo porque pues me aburro estar encerrada, no hay nada que hacer y a veces salgo y veo a ver quién veo, a ver con quién me junto, con quién platico, con quién cotorreo o a ver qué hay que hacer, you ¿no? Know? Y no que, ay, pichi vieja, mi totea todos los días, tiene que salir todos los días, tiene que estar ahí, you ¿no? Know? No, tampoco. Yeah. Do you have a schedule? No. 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 No, no tengo un schedule. Depende, pues es que la gente tiene los schedules. Yeah. Es depende de la gente como. Pues antes salía la gente, después del trabajo se llenaba un, un carrillo y un chingo de personas. O antes de que entraban al trabajo. Antes o después. O, you know, in the, um, throughout, like, in the morning, like 10, 11, you know, como their lunch break or whatever. Y hey, otro tipo de people, you know? O si no, te estaría en la noche, like 8, 7. A veces hasta las 10, 11, a veces hasta las 1, 2, you know? That's when it gets more traffic there? When it gets more busy? Okay. It's always busy. Yeah. All the time. All the time. Yeah, it is. All the time, it's always busy. All the time. There's never a specific time, you know? Y ahorita, últimamente, pues ha estado solo y calmado, yeah. todo. Pero pues son puras personas que, que pues se conocen, ya nos conocemos uno al otro, ya comadreamos, platicamos, o cotorreamos, o ya nos hemos visto 
que los mariscos o que comer o whatever, you know. O familia o amistades reconocidos. O cuando llega así famosos que en la legend, legend sea, you know. Yeah. All right, pues, um, thank you for the interview. María Quintero, si te vuelvo a ver en about a month or two, can I get the update? Sí, igual. Well, thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. All right.